Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create pull request templates in Azure Repos and then how to use the template during our PR process. So what is pull request template? Let's say that you are a developer, you are working on your code changes and then you have uh, committed your code changes, let's say in a feature branch. So you created this feature branch from the main branch. You're working on your code changes. You are done with your code changes. Uh, so you are creating a pull request uh, so, so that your team members can review your code changes, right? So that's a typical flow, isn't it? And then they can add comments or, or uh, you know, reject your uh, code changes or, or they can, they can, you know, approve your code changes and whatnot, right? So that's a typical PR. But let's say you wanted to provide more information during PR process. So what you can do is you can create something called PR templates, which is nothing but pull request template, okay? So that pull request template can have additional information, okay? So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how we can actually you know, do that. So this particular video talks about how you can create a pull request template for Azure Repos. But if you wanted to learn how you can do that for GitHub, I have separate video, you can, you can go through it. In fact, I can quickly show you. So you can definitely go through this particular uh, web page where I also have a YouTube video as well. So if you wanted to do how to if you wanted to learn how to do it for GitHub, there's a separate video for that. Great, so let's get started, right? So all you have to do is, you know, obviously you need to have your Azure DevOps dashboard. So this is my Azure DevOps organization dashboard. So let's actually pick up a project where I have some sample code. So let me click on repos, there you go. So I do have a repository and then I do have some, I think Java project, okay? So I'm going to quickly show you how we can create uh, you know, PR template and then we will use that PR template during our PR process, all right? So all you have to do is you just need to create a folder called .azure DevOps folder, okay? So you need to go to the root of the repository. In fact, you can also use your Visual Studio code as well, but I'm going to show you how you can you know, create a repo in, in Azure Repos itself, okay? So let's go ahead and then create a folder called .azure devops, okay? All right, and then we need to create our template, okay? So we created this folder and then we also need to create a template. So that should be this name, right? The template needs to be this name, okay? So we are creating this folder first and then we are creating this particular markdown file inside that folder and then click on create. So now let's go ahead and then add content for our PR template. So this is a sample content. So feel free to modify based on your requirements. So this is our template, right? So as you can see here, what type of PR is this, right? And then this particular section uh, so whenever you are creating a pr right you can add comments over here right and then any kind of a documentation link you wanted to provide uh, and then of course any screenshot that you wanted to attach and then you know uh, if this particular code change is having any unit tests if you don't have any unit tests why you don't have unit tests right and then additional documentation link and then if you wanted to provide any post deployment task, you can also add that as well here, right? So that is the template. We are just creating a template, right? So let's commit this, all right? So that's it, right? So I know this is our repository. I currently have only main branch. That's all I have, right? So let's do one thing. So now we have created a PR template in the root of the repository, right? So now we have created a template, uh, you know, in this particular repository under this branch, main branch. So now let's do one thing. So let's go back to the flow, okay? So why don't we go ahead and then create a feature branch from the main branch and then let's make some code changes 
and then we are going to create a pull request so when you create a pull request right automatically it will start use this template and then who is going to review your code changes uh, they can see uh, you know you are they can you know literally see what are the change like they can literally see what this pr is all about right and then they can you know approve or whatnot right they can approve or reject and whatnot okay so let's try to implement this workflow all right so let's get started here so i'm going to go ahead and then create a feature branch from the main branch okay so let's create one so let me see here let me say new branch so let's say i want to create my feature branch here okay create there you go right so now we just created a feature branch okay so now let's do one thing let's go ahead and then make some code change so i'm still under feature branch let's go ahead and then make some code change right so okay so i wanted to say welcome to azure cloud or i'm gonna say welcome to So I want to add some code change, right? PR testing, uh, PR template that will be used while creating PR. Commit changes, commit. So now I committed my code changes in the feature branch, right? So if you go back to the diagram, so we made some, I know I just made one commit. I know this says two commits, but it doesn't matter. Now let's go ahead and then create a PR, right? So let's go ahead and then create a pull request. So go to the repo and then go to pull request. Okay. So I wanted to create a pull request, right? So right now there is no pull request. So let's go ahead and then create. There you go, guys. Do you all see here now? So basically I wanted to merge my code changes whatever i have done in my feature branch into main branch right so now you can see as soon as i create a pull request so all this information is coming from the template that we have created that markdown file right so now let's say i wanted to talk about what my code changes is all about right so i want to say uh, let's say this uh, yes i'm gonna say just an enhancement feature right and then I know there's a typo here. Uh, and then you can talk about your code changes over here. Uh, you can say this PR for some basic, you know, testing. Okay, and, and if you wanted to add any issue number, whatever, you can add that here. Any screenshot, if you wanted to attach, you can put that here and then Currently, I don't have any unit tests, so I'm going to say they are not needed, and then documentation, whatever, right? You can say that, right? So, so that's it, right? So that's it. Let me go ahead and then create the PR. So there you go. So now the PR got created, right? Of course, if you want to add any reviewers, feel free to add that over here, right? But this is my personal, uh, you know, repo, so I don't have any reviewers, right? So now let me go to repos. Now I go to pull request. So now you can see here, right? So there is PR over here. So all I have to do is now let's say I am the one who is going to approve. I understand in this scenario, you know, let's say you're working in a, in a team, you work, you create your PR and then somebody else will, you know, review, right? But in my case, let's say, you know, I am that person, right? So I'm going to click on here. So there you go, you see here. So now I can literally see what this PR is all about, right? You can see here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and then click on uh, approve and then click on complete. There you go, you see here now? Now you also have option, right? If you wanted to delete your feature run, you can also do that and then click on complete merge. That's it, right? So now the pull request is being merged. So that's it, right? So if you want, you can delete the source branch. So that's it. So now you go here, go to PR, you're not gonna see that, right? So yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you can create 
uh, pull request templates in Azure repos and then that's how you can actually use it during your PR. Thank you for watching.